So when I come home to Brooklyn, like on the weekends, we would turn up. Like, so when you came home, the pussy race skyrocketed. It was, it was through the nice. roof. It was through the roof. It was bad. It was bad. But like I never was like pressed though. I never was pressed because I always felt like I, I never was without. You know what I'm saying? Like, not on no funny shit, but like, I just never, like, I wasn't the people who used my fame to get <coughs> women. Like, I never really was that without, so like, I always was more so on some like chill shit. Like, and I think that's what like, women fucked with the most. They was just like, he don't even be fiending. Like, he don't be boasting. He don't be bragging. Like, he, like, son be chilling. And they wanted, that's what made him want me more. And also, I was dealing with a lot of older women at the time. So like, you know, I wasn't on some like, Dealing with the hothead young girls, you know what I mean? You like, like a cougar. Yeah, yeah. We, you know, we didn't call them cougars back then. I just had more in common with older women. You know what I mean? Like, I'm at this time, I'm paying the bills in my crib. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not even in school. You know what I mean? I'm 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 living a completely different life. Like at, at that time, no no sophomore in high school could relate to my life. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like right. I couldn't have a, a something in common with a a 15 year old, 16 year old, you know what I'm saying? I'm living a completely different life over here. So it just so happened that older women was really just my speed. So you were 15 dealing with like 20 year olds, 25, 30, 40? Give or take, yeah. yeah. Oldest at that time was probably like 30, 31. Yeah, when I was like 16, 17. I know it's like horrible to say in hindsight, but like that just was my experience. It's a different time. Different time, different time. Anybody in the industry? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, a few, a few. I had a few friends in the industry, you know, a few, few, few women I dated in the industry. You want to share? I mean, it, do you, I don't know. <laughs> no, what, I mean, what you know, I don't I, know. I, I see you see Twitter talk sometimes. People assume that you uh, dealt with Kiki Palmer. No. Yeah. Never. never. I, uh, but, no. you know, anytime you're Kiki seeing... was always my... Yo, it's even weird seeing Kiki now. Because I remember, like, the day I met Kiki, and she was, like, this young. Even though we're only, like, three years apart, I believe. Like, just meeting Kiki and being, like, this is, like, she's such a young girl. Like, Kiki was such a young, little quirky woman when she was a kid. Like, she was also always ahead of the game, but, like, Kiki was just, like, those annoying little sisters. You right. know what I mean? So even when, as we grow older, like, I, she's just, like, my sister. You know what I mean? I would never even look at her in that way. Yeah. Okay. There were rumors you dated SZA. <laughs> TDE artist yeah, SZA. Yeah, yeah, me and SZA was, uh, we dated for a little bit. Um, Shout outs to the good people down at Independent Dope. Like, 